Oh my gosh, what is up you guys? Good morning. Andre and I just went for a walk. We went to get a coffee. I might make more coffee here. I wanted to take you guys through a day in the life living here at the Disney house. There's lots of updates to share. I have I just have so much that I want to acknowledge. I feel a little bit backlogged. I shared this on my Instagram the other day. There's just a lot of things that I haven't shared because I have been deep cleaning for the past, I don't even know how long, like two and a half to three weeks in Canada. Those videos are gonna come soon. Listen, I edit and film all my own stuff. So to film for two and a half to three weeks worth of content. And literally it was like no makeup, no white, white slash gray hairs and like barely just, you know, barely feeling cute at all. So this feels nice to be able to talk to you guys. And that's where I've been. Literally that was what I focused on. It's crazy how much we donated, how much we got rid of. It felt really good. And I can't wait to share all that with you guys. But for now, I have Disney house updates and there's a new Mickey back there. So I'm gonna share that. There is updates on the top floor. There is updates, laundry room. There's so much stuff to share. And yeah, I wanna take you through like a full day of just what we do here. So I'm probably gonna start by, I'm just gonna mash out my morning routine with you. You're literally gonna come along with me for the ride. So it's gonna be good. Welcome to my office. So this is literally my exact morning routine, whether I am here or at home in Canada. I always have my pre-workout as I'm getting my life together and my morning together. I kind of like to set everything up. I actually, my phone is across the table and that's a habit I've gotten into. I leave my phone completely elsewhere and I actually work and listen to my audiobook from my iPad. So that's something to talk to you about. I've been listening to Audible forever. I'm still doing it. It's a huge part of my morning routine, but what I've switched is I keep my phone away from me and I do it on my iPad just so I'm not checking social media or emails or text messages because that was a habit I was getting into in the morning and it was completely derailing my energy. So on the note of energy, yesterday in that post where I shared my little cuppy, I talked about the five week flat tummy fix. I'm going through this as of April 4th. You can start it whenever you want, but if you wanna start it with me as I'm doing it, I'm gonna go through five weeks. So the first week is a prep week. We are, I wanna say detoxing, but it's not so intense that you feel deprived. You will eat food. You're gonna get amazing results. And the whole point is to be able to de-puff, de-bloat, and feel amazing. So not only are we gonna go through, like obviously the main focus is gonna be body, not just aesthetic and appearance wise, I want you to love how you look at the end of it, but I want you to feel good as well. And most of all, not deprived, but we're also gonna work on mindset stuff, goal setting, and I'm gonna help you declutter your house as well, because I feel like that is such a huge part of it. And because I just did it, I think that'll be very helpful. So it starts on April 4th, but you can start it whenever you want. I'll leave the details down below and it's gonna be good. So what I'm doing is I like to map out my goals. I map out my goals for the fit gym, who I'm helping today, what I'm doing for that. And then as I'm mapping out my daily to-dos and the daily grind planner, I put on Audible. So I've talked about Audible before. I freaking love them. I've partnered with them many a times and I literally pay for my own membership. I think it is the greatest thing. And last month I talked to you guys about how I wanted to finish Green Lights. I was starting a couple different books. I just wanna say I have listened to so much this past month because I've just made it a priority and Audible has made that so much easier. So I set up my iPad, I finished Green Lights. I just wanna say, if you listen to it, it's going to break you, not in an emotional way. You will never be able to listen to an, another audiobook because you're gonna have so much high expectations as to how a narrator is supposed to narrate a book. He, obviously he's just amazing. I loved it. I thought it was great. And I know it has really good reviews. Andre was saying to listen to the Will book because he's reading that, but I feel like after, I feel like that's a little bit of a sensitive subject right now. A lot of you guys were asking me on Instagram about my opinions of it. It's funny, everybody always wants to know my opinion. I have no opinion on it. I'm not sharing that stuff, but I will answer this. I will say this. Denzel was the MVP of that night, but I will say that. So. Here's what I listened to after, after Green Lights. I did Switch On Your Brain, which I did not love, and I, I actually stopped it, um, and I shared why on Instagram. 
12 and a half by Gary V, Tony Robbins Life Force, Miracle Equation by Hal Elrod, Ride of a Lifetime by Bob Iger, 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson, and right now I am listening to Everything is Figure Outable by Marie Forleo. So if you want your first 30 days for free on Audible, you can just go to www.audible.com slash Angie Belmar. It will give you the 30 day trial. And the thing that's cool is once you have your, and this is included in the trial, you actually get not only one credit for an audiobook a month, you also get full access to the plus catalog. So the plus catalog, and you can click right on it when you get into your account plus catalog, and it will show you podcasts that are totally free. I love the one by Mel Robbins. That's, that's my favorite. Um, and then there's also different um, audiobooks that you can listen to that are just completely unlocked and available. So you get full access to that as well. And there's a lot of good stuff in there. So I love this. This is part of my daily routine every single day and it works. So I play that on my iPad. Again, my phone is at the other end of the room or on the desk and I map out my day in my planner. And I just wanna say, she's looking, she's looking almost full might be time to get a new one. So there might be some interesting stuff coming. You heard it here first. All right, so I'm gonna plan out my day, finish my pre-workout, and then I'm gonna go press play on my workout and probably the last one of this kind until Monday because Monday I start something fresh with you guys. So I'm excited about that. All right, so once my day is planned out, that took me about 10, 15 minutes, not even, I kind of take my time with it and I just assess where I'm at. Um, I am going to finish my pre-workout. I just listened to a good amount of my audiobook. I'm gonna actually take you guys around the house for some updates and just some things that I bought and I'll take you to the third story. There's so much to share with the third story. So let's talk about it and then I'll get ready for my workout. So I just bought this which totally goes with my office. So that's gonna go, I don't know, it's gonna go somewhere in here, but right here is going to be the Disney castle, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. So this is the setup I have. There is an actual video where I showed how I did this. This was like a total DIY project. They're all actually um, site plans and the original, I don't know, there's site plans and then there's the elevations from obviously the castle, this is Peter Pan, this is Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland, this is Test Track. It's like, I just nerd out about that stuff because I don't know if you know this, it's what I studied, I studied architecture. So a little bit of Disney, a little bit of Angie. This cuppy is the greatest thing of my life. Um, I have really good friends that go and get tchotchkes for me in the parks whenever I'm not here and leave it in our garage. Oh, and this was delivered whenever I was gone. How freaking sweet. Ray-Bans? I don't, okay, maybe you guys can help me. I like a really big oversized glasses. Beachbody sent me these for hitting some goals, which is awesome. But like, can we be honest? Will you guys tell me if they're too small? I feel like I have a really big head. Oh no, they're not that small. Do we like these? They're cute, right? I feel like it's a pretty solid gift. Some beautiful lightweight Ray-Bans. So listen, we talked about this, he happened, he's fabulous. Like there will never be, nor has there ever been, a better popcorn bucket than this. Let's just, you need to, because to everybody it's like, I don't get it. He's amazing. And if you get it, you're my peoples. Um, I understand the weight. I did not wait that long. I actually had a friend that went and got it for me. And she said she waited for like 30 minutes. Nothing new in the guest room. No guests this time, although we are. We're gonna go to drinks. We are, we are very social when we're here. We literally have plans almost every single day. We are gonna go to drinks tonight at the Riviera with one of our neighbors who I love, obsessed. I love, I love everybody here. They're like the greatest people. Um, if you did not see my TikTok project about this, go see. Those are all plates that I found on eBay and they're all collector's items and they're like three dimensional Peter Pan plates and I love them. So there's kind of like a Peter Pan theme happening in the kitchen here with this. And this is my smoking machine for my, uh, for my margaritas. Cause you know, gotta be extra. The washer and dryer were just out in the open in here and they were really loud. 
So we actually got new washer and dryers, like smaller ones, because we had industrial size family of 15 size washer and dryers. So we got little ones because it's just us and then maybe a couple guests. And then Andre had the very smart idea of having some cupboards made. So pushing them in and then matching this cupboard. And so now there's just like a push latch. So you just push and then when they're turned on, we just close them and that cuts the sound a ton. And the reason why we did this, you might be like, why didn't you just put a door on the laundry room? Because that would be a big door and that is a supporting wall. So you can't do a pocket door. So it was not an option. Okay, this is the other idea I had. So the house is very nautical. So I bought just off of Amazon, like real dock cleats. And so these are our hooks to hang like our jackets and which we never use because Florida, love it. And I got this mirror for here because I didn't have a mirror whenever we were leaving the house. So I got this little poof made, like a little bench poof made on Etsy and then the pillow and the mirror and totally, it just has like the nautical vibe. And then I have that little crate, which I think was actually from Beachbody as well. And then all, all of the shoes. Oh, and then the rug, which is ruggable. I think everybody knows that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys Mickey and then I'll take you to the third floor. You don't wanna be a part of Mickey? No, this is this is awesome. You want to show them your Legos first? But it's it's a little messy. You're so sweaty. I know, I know. You're That's making. I'm trying, not to be, I'm trying not to be a part of this thing because you're I don't you're beautiful. Them. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Um, you're making me warm though. So you want to see my Legos? No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. So this is what this is our mess from last That's night. So we made we made some cocktails. We watched Encanto. Tell everybody what you thought about Encanto. We turned it around. We didn't yeah. like it at first, but then we actually gave it a shot. So this is what Andre is building. I got him this one. And then you want to show the other one that you're going to build? Then I'm going to build this one. Am I bedazzling all of these? No. No, yes. No, yes. Yes. Okay, cool. cool. So you're you're getting there. Yep. There was a lot of choice words while you were building this last night. I had to restart twice. And then this is my Lego project, which it, look at all. I just want to say mine's a little bit more intimidating than yours. So this is what I'm building. And I'm actually going to get the lights for it. So I don't know if you know this, you can buy lights for your Legos. So I can light up the castle. And I'm gonna put that on my the backdrop where the where I showed you guys in my office. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let's talk about Mickey. Let's open this up. There isn't really anything new out here besides the fact that it's really clean. We just had every all the floors cleaned and everything because we're still in construction. Like this house next to us was just finished being built. That house has been done for a while. Like the neighborhood's still under construction, um, but still oddly nicely quiet. So a lizard. Hi, Bubba. All right. Let's go see Mickey. I'm so excited for you guys to see him. I'm literally, every morning, I look at Mickey, I'm like, good morning, buddy. And he wakes up at nine. That's when the fountain turns on. Oh, oh, that was a good jump, Bubba. Can you, no, 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 don't go inside. Oh, there's so many lizards in here now. Buddy, can you go the other way? Can you go the other way? Oh, hi, 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 hi. Can you go outside and not in our house? Come on, ah, this way, come on, come on this way. Oh. Ah. Can we go outside? Come on, no, okay. Well, he'll live under our chair. Okay, it's really bright out. It's beautiful out today and I know it's windy, I'm sorry. All right, you ready for Mickey? Here he is. That is the new Mickey. So what I'll do is I'll actually, I'll walk along here. Hopefully I don't drop you in the pool because that would be horrible, but I'll show you what he actually looks like up close. Again, I know it's really windy, I'm sorry. Okay, so he has this like stone finish on him and he totally matches the, the terracotta tiles around the pool. We also just planted some more trees these are all gonna grow really big, which is lovely for privacy and then some banana leaves. These are my little lounge chairs that I absolutely love. So what do we think? Do we like him? I'm pretty obsessed with him. He's incredible. All right, I'll show you guys what was here before. So in case you're new here, I will explain to you. This is, he's around the corner. I didn't want him to be visible. So he kind of blends with the, uh, 
with the environment. So I'm gonna change the plants in his little basket every so often. There's also, I did a TikTok on this as well, this little DIY project. So he was originally holding those vases and he was by the pool. Obviously he's small, yeah, he's a lot smaller. Oh, our new Mickey's really big compared to him, but isn't he's still super cute, but I think he goes better here. He just like blends. So we're gonna keep planting. These are all gonna grow, all these plants all around. So he'll kind of blend, which is what I really wanted. And I, I love him. I couldn't let him go. I'll be honest, he was really expensive, so we couldn't just throw him in the lake. Um, but he's, he's fabulous. These are all fake. They're, these are from Michael's. He's fake too, by the way. A lot of people think he's real. He's not, he's like made of like a mesh thing. But so his rebar inside was actually rusting and falling into the pool. So it was ruining the tiles in the pool. So we saw where this was going and we figured this is an opportunity for greatness. And we had this Mickey made and I love him so much. I love our pool. I don't know if you know the story, I've shared it a couple of times, but I actually drew out the pool on a piece of paper in a meeting and the designers made it happen. Magical. We love it and we, I use it, Andre uses it, we love this pool. And we actually love this space too, even though lizards, but you know what? I don't care. I'd much rather a lizard than, I'm not even gonna say the word, cockroach. I hate cockroaches. So what is new up here is the shutters. We weren't really able to use this room for the longest time because it gets hot up here. And with no window treatments, it was crazy. So now we have the shutters and before anybody's like, wait, doesn't that block your view? You can actually, like you can fully open them too. So I love this, it's cozy. I, there, the reason why there's green tape on the floor is I'm trying to figure out some design plans. So the concept that we're gonna do up here is really a treehouse, Adventureland, Swiss Family Robinson, a little bit of Pirates of the Crew, like really Adventureland, I'm trying to think of all, like Jock's Hangar Bar, Jock's Hangar Bar, Trader Sam's, Adventureland, that type of vibe. But really like a treehouse is the idea. So, Andre's gift to me for our anniversary, he said it was either between upgrading your ring or getting you this, and he said I figured this would be more fun and more practical and an adventure we can go on together, so yes, love. So I already got the furniture for this room. Now, it's a, we, we're not sure if we're gonna keep it and if it's part of the design, but so far I think it's good. So we got these two chairs from the teen collection of Restoration Hardware, which were both on sale, as well as this trunk that's sitting in front of me. And then the carpet that I'm on is very Swiss Family Robinson. It's like a Persian rug, but there's hidden Mickeys in it. And then I just bought this, which if you know Andre and I, we love Up. That's why our dog's name is Carl. And I thought this was so perfect for like the vibe of the room, like very adventure, very, I don't even wanna share everything we're doing because I want it to be its own video and we're actually gonna work with the company to share all of that with you guys, but it's gonna be an adventure to say the least. And I have all my Trader Sam's cuppies up here. So on here I have the cups. This trunk is very like Swiss Family Robinson Jock's hanger bar. These are the chairs, they're made of jute. I will say they're not that, they're not like comfortable to sit on because the fabric, but they look really cool, but that's why I got these. These are actually from Disney. It's a big Mickey that's on them. And then this is the rug. So there's all these little Mickeys on here. This is from Ruggable also. And what I wanna do, I'll share a little, I just said I wasn't gonna share anything I'm gonna share. <laughs> I think I'm nuts. Well, we, literally this room is gonna be transformed. We wanna do a tree going all the way up the side and then the vines all the way up the top so that you literally feel like you're in a tree house up here. And there's another thing that I wanna do, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. I wanna take down the railing right here and do like a netting that you can like sleep in. I don't know if my husband's gonna let me do that. But it's my, it's my gift. He said, basically the gift is like, you can do whatever you want. Like you have, you have my sign off. I'm excited about this. Cause he was not excited about it at first. He was like, I just want a plain room up there. I don't want to do anything. And now it's like, let's theme it. Let's go crazy. So the green tape is actually because I want to do like a library type of shelving. And I want the, the shelving to go to bar height so that we can actually watch the fireworks. So from these three windows, you can see the fireworks at the Magic Kingdom. So kind of cool, little lookout tower. And then the other concept, I'm just gonna share everything. We're gonna put like vines down here. It's literally gonna look like a treehouse. that's the plan. So you're now a part of it. So this is all we have so far, but it's still like, isn't it like so cozy up here? So the concept is really like cocktail, reading nook, no phone zone. That's the other thing I said to Andre, wouldn't it be cool if we just like didn't bring our phones up here? Um, Okay, I can't share anything. There's so much to share with this room that is already on, in the works and I can't share everything, but I think it's gonna like blow you guys away. 
Oh, I can't keep secrets. We want to do like sound effects and stuff. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. So this is the view from here. It's not a big space at all, but I think if we were to blow out that railing and do like a netting right here, how freaking cool would that be? Andre's going to be like, she's nuts. She's nuts. That's like the best way to end a workout. So you go dip in the pool. What I did is I press plan my workout, quick 30 minute workout. I really try to stay in the 30 minute mark. And during the five week plan that I'm doing the flat tummy fix, there are workouts included and they're short workouts. I'm big on that. Like let's get you results, flat tummy. We're gonna focus on abs and booty and get you the like legit results, but inside out results. So if you saw me making my post-workout shake, that's also gonna be a part of the plan. Those greens, you don't even taste them. Mix it in the chocolate shake, delicious. So good, pre and probiotics are in that shake. Get the digestion going properly so that you feel good and you're not puffy and you're not bloated. So nothing worse than that. So I totally get it. Um, if you noticed, I hydrated a ton today. I don't know if it was all on camera, but I drink so much flipping water. So that's gonna be on the plan as well. I had a big lunch, not necessarily like the cleanest, but I love me a good sandwich. So we're gonna dial it in next week. I need to actually get dressed because we are going for drinks at the, our favorite, we're going to Dahlia's with um, a friend, new friend, and I am looking forward to my martini. And yes, I'm a realist and I like myself a good cocktail. So I got that question the other day, do you eat healthy all the time? No, is the answer. I like, I like my cocktails and I like my guacamole. Are you here to get ready? I am here to get ready. Cocktails, guacamole is what I'm talking about. And charcuterie boards. Charcuterie boards. Um, so listen, I will leave the code for Audible down below. I know I talked about that. I will leave the link for the Fit Gym down below. I will leave a sample workout down below. I will link everything that I talked about as much as possible. I'll leave the Daily Grind Planner link down below. You can follow that planner, by the way, on Instagram. We feature all of you guys on the Daily Grind Instagram. All right, I feel like I've shared so much today and this was honestly a really fun vlog to film. It was actually you guys' idea. You said, why don't you do instead of like a morning routine, like a day in the life routine. So that was the plan. Now 
I'm gonna quickly put this stuff in the laundry, wash up, do my makeup a little bit, I don't know, I don't know, and put on one of my, I just call them my Disney dresses, they're all the same, and a little sweater, a little Disney purse, and I'll be good to go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you guys thought of the Mickey and your thoughts on the third story. I love, love, love all of your opinions. I really appreciate them too. And you guys are always so positive and uplifting, which I so appreciate. And don't forget, there's kind of a big giveaway going on. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you see everybody commenting with purse emojis, that's what it's about. Go check the highlights on my Instagram and you'll see there's like a little giveaway thing. Little. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done. So I'm excited. I love the heck out of you guys. Welcome to the Disney house. I'll keep vlogging as much as possible. If there's something you want to see, let me know down below. Make sure you're following on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes. Just to leave